What's up, y'all? I'm Andy Story with Poster Grind, and I'm an art director in Hollywood that designs movie posters for a living. And today I'm going to show you the correct way to set up a movie poster template with a safety bleed, as well as the way to group all your different layers to make it a lot easier. And this way, every time you open up the template, you're ready to rock and roll and make some killer designs. <laughs> All right, guys, let's shake and bake. Got Photoshop fired up. First things first, we're going to head on over to File, then New, and might as well go to the Print tab. And right over here, we're going to set up everything in inches. So go ahead and put our width at 13 and our height at 19.5. And then we're going to drop our resolution to 200. The reason being is because if you're an art director working on a bunch of different movie poster designs and your resolution's up to 300, you're pretty much going to slow your computer down and then sending files back and forth is even going to take longer. So it's kind of an industry standard just to stay at 200 uh, resolution. Uh, we can just go ahead and keep color mode at RGB and let's Go, oh, actually, before we hit create, I just want to mention that we will be expanding the canvas size of our poster template, uh, but I'm going to show you how to do that. And there's a reason we are starting uh, a little smaller. We will be increasing by a half inch on both the top and bottom. So for now, hit create. And we have our beautiful template that's going to look even more beautiful once we put the bleed in there or the safety area. And to do that and go ahead and make sure your rulers are on and all you need to do is hit command R and you can toggle it back on back and forth and then when you see your ruler we're going to bring a guide down so bring guides to each of the four sides and then from here once you have your guides on all four sides we're going to go up to image canvas size and now we're just going to increase the size by 0.5 inches and you see this little box here that says relative. Go ahead and check that. And this just means we're adding a certain amount of inches to our already created dimensions. So we'll just put 0.5 on both width and height and hit OK. And now you can see that we have a border in black. But what we're going to do over here is just create our own background in white. And now we pretty much have our bleed. This this area here is going to be our bleed. But I like but what I like to do is just add a layer that is going to indicate the bleed. And the easy way to do that is just picking your rectangle tool and using the guides to let the rectangle to tool snap together. And as you can see there, the the rectangle is already filled, but we don't want it filled. So take the fill off by going up to fill and you see the one with a little slash in it and that's gonna get rid of our fill. Now we have a stroke, but the stroke's a little too big. So I usually drop that to three pixels and we can also change the color. So if you just hit this again and you can use whatever color you want, usually a bright teal, high chroma teal will do the job and hit enter. Now we have a beautiful rectangle the only thing is, is we need to name it. So go over to your layers and we're going to name this bleed dash safety. Now this layer is going to stay on top of all of your other layers while you're creating your artwork. But I kind of want to look and, and just show you what the layer is going to look like without the guides. So let's get rid of the guides by hitting command H and you can see our later layer, uh, our bleed safety layer and you can toggle it on and off. I totally forgot to mention this you guys, but if you found this tutorial useful, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and that way you'll be notified the next time we have some amazing mover, movie content available. Thanks. But I like to have my templates ready to go and that usually involves four groups and I'm gonna show you what that all means right now. Go ahead and hit the plus create a new layer, and now we're gonna make a grouping for type. So hit the T letter on your keyboard, and now we're gonna call this title, change our color to black so that it shows up. And we're just gonna make it a little bigger just for the purposes of the tutorial, and we're good to go. And now this layer, the title layer over here, hit Command G, 
and we have a new group and we're gonna call this type. And this would be the layer that goes on top of all other layers. Now you're asking yourself, what goes below type? Well, that's gonna be our effects layer. So once again, hit new layer, and then we're gonna just create the group, command G, and we're just gonna rename it effects. And the effects layer is gonna keep track of all of your color grading, gradients in general, sharpening, blurring, basically the things that you do to your final artwork to make it look cool or just creating a new treatment. But that's just where all the effects would go. Below the effects, we're gonna put our art layer. So go ahead and hit the plus button, command G, group it, and call it art. Now the art layer is gonna contain your photography, your general artwork, everything you've max masked out, your, I don't know, guns and props and fun things that you have to add to your composition. Everything goes right here on the art layer. Then there's one layer that goes even below the art layer, and that would be the background layer. So once again, create a new layer, Command G, and we're just gonna call it background. Cool, so the background is exactly what it sounds like. This would be your background, mountain, sky, uh, trippy, atmosphere, whatever you want will go in the background. And now your template is fully organized and ready to go, and you can go ahead and save it out. Might as well just get rid of that layer there and just keep this. Uh, you can either keep your uh, background background layer in the folder or on the outskirts. It doesn't really matter because you'll tweak it no matter what. So our groupings are organized. Our template is the proper sizing with a bleed and we're pretty much good to go. The only thing I want to mention is that in order to stay organized when you're working on a bunch of different designs for one movie, uh, it's good to number them numerically when you save out. So up here, I'm just gonna show you what I do. So I'm gonna to go to save as, and then I'm just gonna call this, we're gonna call this, uh, we're working on the Poster Grind movie, the name of this channel. So we're just gonna call it Poster Grind. Hypothetically, that's the name of the movie. Then we're gonna use your initials, mine are AS, and then this is the first design I've done today, so I'm gonna call it 01, whoops, 01. And then I'm just gonna save it on my desktop for now and it's good to go. And then my next design that I do for this movie will be called 02, 03, 04, 05, depending on how many designs I need to do. And each agency that you work at is gonna be a little different. This one's pretty standard. And then this also works if you're working from home as a freelancer, it just helps you stay organized. Uh, but just ask your creative director, art director, whoever's in charge, how you want their uh, files labeled when you send them in. There you go, guys. That's pretty much it. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'm off to make another tutorial on movie poster design for you right now. See you there.